Hey, what's up? I've heard a lot of rumors when it comes to strength in Sons of the Forest. The game is unclear about what actions increase your strength and what strength actually does, and if you look up some guides on the internet, explanations about strength are surprisingly vague. So in order to put this issue to bed and increase my own knowledge about the game and how various mechanics work, I decided to conduct the ultimate experiment, and if you stick around, I'll share all of my results with you and trust me, you'll be surprised by what I found out. To start off with, let's make sure that everyone is oriented and that we're all on the same page. Your strength progress meter is shown in the bottom right corner and is marked with a flexed arm. As the red meter increases up the circle, your strength is increasing. Once it fills up, it shows you your new strength level for a couple of seconds and then resets. Currently there is no other way to identify your strength level. Now let's review some things that do not increase your strength because I've heard a lot of claims in other videos, the comments of my own videos, and on various websites like Reddit. Running and jumping do not increase your strength, even if you're carrying logs. I started out fresh with level 1 strength and I ran around for quite some time and the strength meter didn't budge a bit. Swimming doesn't either. After doing my run test, I swam back to my start point and again, no change. Throwing logs does not increase your strength, but more on that in a little bit. Placing logs and building will not affect your strength either. I built this wall right here and it didn't improve whatsoever. Even chopping the tips into defensive walls didn't increase my strength, apart from a few missed swings, which did. Again, more on that in a little bit. Using the chainsaw, no effect. Taking damage from enemies, no change at all. Crafting, no. Finally, shooting guns and throwing grenades doesn't help either, but it was worth a shot. Okay, less of that, moving on. So what exactly does increase your strength? Well, only two things that I could find. Picking up logs off the ground gives a decent increase and swinging any tool or weapon does as well, but to a slightly lesser extent on a like per action basis. I tested several weapons and tools and it does appear that each swing is weighted the same. So one swing of the fire ax will have the same effect as one swing of the knife. And obviously the knife is significantly faster. As I leveled up my strength, each level became more difficult to attain. It took 100 swings to go from level one to two, but 274 swings to go from six to seven. I plotted the swings required to level up on a graph and we can see the beginnings of an exponential curve meaning that the next level up is always more difficult than the last and getting from say level 40 to level 50, the max level for strength, could possibly take longer than going from 1 to 40 did. Now let me take just a minute to let you know that this was an observational study. None of the conclusions made within this video were from dissecting the game files. I can't read this crap and I'm done trying. So what about picking up logs? Well, it's essentially the same as swinging. Here's the graph, it shows an exponential curve, but the numbers are 50% of what we saw with swinging. 50 to get from level one to two, and 138 pickups to get from level six to seven. Note again that throwing the log back down doesn't influence your strength. So now let's debunk a rumor. So I've heard that there's a dynamic scaling of strength, or let's just call it what it really is, XP or experience, so that if you repeat a single activity for too long, you'll start to get diminishing returns, thereby nerfing attempts to just simply repeat a task and level up your character. To test this, I used swinging to level my character up to strength level 6, at which point I changed over to logging from 6 to 7. I then did the exact opposite, logging from 1 to 6, then swinging from 6 to 7. If there was a diminishing return mechanic, we'd expect the number of swings to get from 6 to 7 to change whether it was done straight from 1 to 7 versus starting fresh with swings at level 6 and then going up to 7. And the same for logging, but that was not the case. The number of actions required for a level up was the same both ways. But what if there is a certain level cap per day or amount of strength that you can gain per day? A bit more difficult to test, but I gave it my best try. In my current playthrough, my strength is level 17. So I used some fancy math to determine that the required number of swings or log pickups increases by roughly 22% each level. And this calculator here told me to expect 2,938 swings to get to level 18. I thought I'd have the stamina to complete it, but alas, I gave up after nearly 500 swings. I did, however, observe that a quarter of progress to the next level had been made. So I think I'm correct in assuming that this formula holds and there is no outside influence on progress, such as level caps or daily limitations. 
Couple of side notes here. Do power attacks increase strength faster than regular swings? No. Same increase, but much slower. Interestingly, despite the chainsaw not increasing strength when sawing trees, it does increase strength when swinging the chainsaw, but again, it's very slow when compared to faster tools like the tactical axe. So now that we're all on the same page with what increases strength and what doesn't, what the f does strength even do? In order to do a proper test, I needed a character with strength level 50, the maximum level. So I sat here for literally 11 hours and swung my axe until I reached that level. Just kidding, I edited the save game file. And then I set up a few more experiments. Full disclosure here, I had to use mods to unlock the console in order to obtain these results. And while I tried to control all variables, there remains some possibility that manipulating the game in its current state did somehow influence these results. But again, I tried to do the best that I could here. So does strength improve your tree chopping damage? No, I chopped the same four trees with a tactical axe at strength level one and strength level 50, and it required the same amount of chops both ways. What about damage to entities? Same result. I tried this with cannibals, but due to the random dismemberment chance and wounded animations, it was difficult to get consistent results. So I slowed down the AI animations so they'd hold still, and then I set up three fingers mutants since they spew out their slime when killed, giving us a clear indication of how many hits they can take before they die. And with the tactical axe, it required 14 chops at strength level one and 50 in order to kill them. Does strength improve carrying capacity? This is the one that I hear most often, and the answer is no, not that I observed. With my three characters, level one strength, level 17 strength, and level 50 strength, I observed that my inventory carrying capacity was the same for all items. I even used console commands to give myself all of the inventory items in the game and then dropped them, spawned more in, tried crafting more, and in all scenarios, I did not see any difference. But I will note that I have observed cases where I discover extra sticks or stones in my inventory far exceeding the normal carrying capacity, but I believe this is a bug and not a result of strength increases, because upon removing those extra items, carrying capacity again caps out at, say, 20 sticks or 10 large stones. What about game difficulty? Does having a higher strength level increase the number or difficulty of cannibals or mutants? No, I ran the same exact cave on day one as strength level one and level 50 and observed the exact same mutants in the exact same locations. And I ran this experiment again on day 50 and the cave was absolutely loaded with mutants. Game difficulty appears to be completely tied to the date and strength had no observable effect on the number or difficulty of the enemies within. Finally, I tested out stamina, otherwise known as vitality. To test this, I ran two sets of two sprints, consuming the entire stamina bar. At level one strength and level 50 strength, I made it the same distance and was able to sprint uninterrupted for about 55 seconds each time. So we know what strength doesn't do, but what does it do? It's pretty simple, actually. It increases your maximum health. At base, you have four health bars, shown here with a red radial bar with four segments. As you level up strength, you'll slowly unlock bits of extra health, and at max, you'll double your health up to eight segments. Certainly helpful, but in a game so dependent on armor, I feel like this is a little underwhelming. I can't carry more or move further, can't work harder or faster, and I can't deal more damage. All I get is the ability to take two or maybe three more hits before death. That's fair enough, at least now you know. If you have any evidence to the contrary, I would absolutely like to hear your feedback in the comments, and if you learned something new, a simple like on this video would go a long way for me. And if you're interested in more experiments, base builds, gameplay, and tutorials for Sons of the Forest, make sure you're subscribed, because I'll be covering all that and more in the coming months. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, that'll do it for this one. <laughs> Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.